For many, robots are no longer a new technology. They're already prevailing in various industries, but now they're becoming chefs. Our An Songjin explains why this isn't a half-baked idea. The robots are taking over. At least in kitchens, they are. This middle school in Seoul, South Korea, is the first to use robots in the process of cooking lunch. Rather than workers standing in front of steaming pots and pans, robots do it instead. Not only does it ensure consistency in taste and quality, but our chefs have also said that they are more satisfied as cooking has become more efficient and easier. Research has shown that being exposed to fumes in restaurant and cafeteria kitchens can lead to lung cancer. So the Seoul Metropolitan Office of Education introduced robots to improve the working environment for kitchen staff. These robots can rustle up various dishes such as soup, fried chicken and stir-fried vegetables. It's not just schools that are using them. Expressway rest areas are doing so as well. Robots here are a part of the autonomous process of putting the ingredients into a pan, cooking them on the stove, and then pouring them into a bowl. For example, it uses its arm to stir the noodles at a certain pace and move them to a bowl. It can make more than 10 different types of dishes and up to 200 dishes in an hour. Since our walking environment has become much more pleasant and convenient than before, it's much more preferable to have these robots. It's like a mutual relationship for us. If the trial is successful at this rest area, the Expressway Corporation is looking to bring the so-called robot chefs to other rest areas in South Korea. Robots are a key aspect of the growing food tech market. Data from market research and strategy consulting firm Emergent Research shows that the global food tech market is going to expand from 220.3 billion U.S. dollars in 2019 to 342.5 billion dollars by 2027. The integration of robots in the food industry is expected to progress rapidly as it improves hygiene and quality in the kitchen. The problem is not that these robots are replacing people as workers, as the restaurant industry is already lacking in manpower. It's cooperation that's going to be needed. The Food and Agriculture Ministry has pledged to increase the budget for food tech to $48.6 million this year. An Songjin, Arirang News.